On this channel, I'm not a fan of drinking your calories, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You're at work, you're in a meeting, you're in the car, you're busy, you can't deny the fact that a protein shake sometimes is just pretty damn convenient. But picture this, you're running around the house, everything is a mess, you've got to get ready for work or school, you've got no time to prepare any food, you sprint to the cupboard, you grab your bag of protein to make a protein shake and <gasps> you've run out of protein. Oh my god guys, I know, it's it's scary stuff and this it's a real world issue and it, it actually happens to people. I personally, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, to be honest. Not just that, but some people aren't able to buy protein powder and some people don't want to buy protein powder. They want to keep it all natural, which I respect. I don't relate to it, but I respect it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a thick, creamy, delicious chocolate peanut butter protein shake that's low calorie using five really common and simple ingredients. Let's do it. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start by covering off the ingredients you'll need to make this shake. The first thing will be Greek yogurt, not normal yogurt, not natural yogurt, Greek yogurt. Then you will need eight grams of cocoa powder, 10 grams of peanut butter powder, 500 ml of unsweetened almond milk and vanilla sweetener to taste or any other sweetener. I just like vanilla, but any's fine. And that's it, super simple, as promised, ingredients you can easily find in the shops, online, whatever. If you do need to get any of those ingredients before you make this, make sure to check the description because I will have linked to the ones that I personally use so you know they're good ones. If you use the ones that I've linked, you get the ash guarantee that this will be good. If you don't use the ones I've linked, then you don't get my guarantee. And if this sucks, it's your fault, not mine. It's your gamble, my friend. But anyway, let me show you how to make this protein shake. So let's go over how to actually make the shake. I'm hoping I don't need to go into too much detail on this part because, I mean, it's a milkshake, come on guys. But anyway, regardless, we'll go through the process. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we're just gonna get your blender or food processor or whatever and add in 250 grams of Greek yogurt, fat free, obviously. High quality Greek yogurts tend to be much thicker. So if you like a thick shake, make sure to avoid the cheap stuff. Unlike me, getting the cheapest thing I can find because I don't have that YouTube money yet. Anyway, next we'll add eight grams of cocoa powder and then 10 grams of powdered peanut butter. You can feel free to adjust the ratios of these, but bear in mind that less peanut butter powder will slightly reduce the overall amount of protein in the shake. Then finish off with adding in 500 ml of unsweetened almond milk, getting in that daily nut, if you know, you know, and then add in some sweetener to taste. You can always add more sweetener in later on if you taste it and it needs more. So don't stress too much about how much you put in. Just stress a little bit, you know? Then we just need to blend it up. Easy. You can also add some ice if you want a thicker and larger shake, but that can also make it less creamy, so bear that in mind. And another option would also be adding in some xanthan or guar gum, making it into a protein shake you can literally eat with a spoon. When you've got it all mixed up and nice and smooth, pour into your liquid delivery vessel and give it a try. And there you go guys, it really is that simple to make a protein shake without even using protein powder. Now, when you're making it like this, you are always going to have some more carbs and fats than just using a protein powder would, but it's really no more than you would get in a standard protein bar. And you know, carbs and fats aren't something you should be afraid of anyway. In this shake, the carbs and the fats are both coming from healthy sources and with it, you're getting a butt load of protein. So if you make this exactly like I did, you get this whole shaker full that tastes damn good. <laughs> the calories and macros in this whole shake are 304 calories. 27 grams of protein, that's a lot of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and just 10 grams of fat. 
that is pretty damn good. Whether you're using it as a meal replacement, a post-workout shake, a midday snack, it's gonna get the job done. So definitely give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section below if you do. I always like to hear how you get on with these recipes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every single week. So join the team and don't miss out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Until the next one, see you later guys. Thank you.